all right welcome back music go down there we go all right welcome back as always this content is purely purely educational in nature not intended to be financial or tax advice always always go with the licensed qualified professional before making financial decisions what's going on y'all mr o i keep wanting to say mr moon mr o mr moon welcome back um sorry i'm late it's editing the video i think it turned out pretty good let me post that now or i guess i can uh give give you guys a little a little preview for being here early early access we'll call it early access Um, um, how am I going to show this? Google Drive? Google Drive. Pause music. Uh, content. iMoney Run. Videos. Where's my web browser? Here it is. Um, so I'm changing up my content. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. There's no audio for you guys this whole time? No one said anything? Yeah. <laughs> Is there no audio? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, no. Well, that was embarrassing. <laughs> you can read. <laughs> damn it. Damn software updates. Son of a bitch. Hold on. Let's fix it. Come on, Elgato. Every time there's a software update. Messes something up. The damn software engineers. Breaking stuff. Um, let's see here. Output device. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not going to watch that again. You guys can just, um, you can watch it live. <laughs> you hear this music though, right? Yeah, pretty sure you do. Uh, browser, yes. Oh man, even Discord is reset. Wow. Son of a gun. Output goes to voice chat. Input microphone. And voice chat. Mm, microphone. I would show my screen, but it's not exciting. Don't worry. All right, I think we're okay. Dang, we gotta check everything now. <laughs> well, so what's up, Kaz? What's your age and ethnicity? Guess. 39 in Persian. <laughs> Mr. O, uh, you got good news and bad news? Uh, let's hear the bad news first. 
What's up, Knight? Knight says, like your, I like your style of TikTok where you walk and talk. All right, well, well more's coming up. So I got this new camera, and I'm really excited to use it, so. Um, something about walking and talking makes the video feel less like a lecture and more like a conversation. Okay. All right. Sneak peek, not sneak here. <laughs> That's good. Um, let's go back to this. Let's close that. And... Valorant, uh-huh, okay. All right, cool. Gaming. Okay, bad news is that I got a 65% on an exam worth 25% of my grade in a class that requires a B to pass. Good news is that's much higher than I expected. Okay. So where are you at overall? It's 25% of your grade. Oh, then you're done, right? Wait, I can't math in my head. Okay, no, I was thinking if you, if you had a zero on the exam, you'd be done. But 65%, I think you still have a chance, right? Is this a midterm? Why don't you do the, do the math for me? Have you thought of live streaming earlier? I thought about it. The only thing I had against it was when I'm done live streaming, like I'm done. Like I don't have anything left because these streams take a lot out of me just because of the, the amount of questions and the questions aren't simple. Like, oh, my favorite food is ramen. Like We get like into it. So my brain's fried. So do I want to do it early in the day and fry my brain so I can't do anything else? Probably not. But we'll try it. We'll give it a shot. See what happens. I see people stream at crazy times. People will stream. Uh, we'll do like the graveyard streams. I guess that's popular. Streaming at 10 p.m. 1 a.m. That's nuts. I'm not doing that. I don't think you can pay me enough to do that long term. All right, I need to post a video. So that the video I just sh showed you guys, I, I made a previous one that's similar. I posted it um, yesterday. Was it yesterday? I should have posted this uh, the day before during the stream. But this this video got is it's almost a fifty thousand views. Shared, holy, holy shit, it's been shared a thousand five hundred times. Wow, this really escalated. Okay, I think we found a new format. I basically did like a, you know, a Jet and Reyna say 500 credits, huh? Because we had to stay in the theme of Valorant. This one popped off. And it's a minute long, so TikTok's going to pay me for this. We'll see what the, how much we get paid. But yeah, I'm like, oh. I sat down and I'm like, I need to put more time into this channel because I haven't really been reviewing the content and seeing what performs well. I'm just like blasting content out. I think we're past that point. We need to be a little more strategic. Um, but yeah, this is it. So... We got to post that TikTok. And I guess we're going to start TikTok at 8 in 20 minutes. Which sucks because we these videos have to like cook for a little while before the algorithm picks it up. Well. Maybe we'll stream again. I don't know. I'm already behind on my stuff. Oh, now we gotta write a caption. All right, assuming I get, I get assuming I get one hundred percent on every quiz and homework from now on. Hold on.
hold on. Basically, I need to get a 75% or more on the final. Or 35% of my grade if I want to pass. Assuming, assuming I get 100% on every quiz and homework from now on. Okay, well, homework's probably more doable. But quizzes too? Holy crap. That's tough. Can you talk to the professor and be like, yo, I will do extra stuff. <laughs> what can I do to get a B? I've done that. I've negotiated and it worked. I'm like, I don't care about this class. It has nothing to do with my major. I just need to pass this and move on. So I don't have to stay to this in college for another year. You know? You've got you've got 500k views, 3 million views. Damn. Are you um are you in the the TikTok uh creator what is it called? The ad revenue program? Cuz if so, and the videos are a minute or longer, you'll you'll make some good money, dude. Highly recommend it. Um also, dude, don't sleep on on Facebook. Facebook pays pretty decent ad revenue. The quizzes are online and you get three attempts, so 100% on those isn't completely undoable. Okay. It's more hope. This is literally one of the core classes of my major. Damn. Really? Assembly? Well, yeah, it makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Damn, dude. Can you... Um... So if you do bomb the class, can you take it somewhere else and... I don't know, maybe over the summer somewhere? Somewhere easier, maybe? Have a transfer over? What's your plan after that? All right, let me write this caption really quick. Let me uh, have some bots dance for you guys so you're not too bored. Oh. What's the button for... Damn it, no. Is it T? H? J? How do I look at my gun? Why? Okay. It's different in Counter Strike. Oh, it doesn't loop? Why don't you loop? Just on IG, some videos pop off at random times. It's funny how that works, huh? Okay. Can Sage afford this car? Okay, good enough, good enough, good enough. Can Sage afford this car? Not stage, Sage. Can Sage afford this car? Hashtag Valorant. Hashtag Valorant. I'm just gonna copy the hashtag from that last video. That did well, how about that? Valorant Gaming, we need to save this as a draft. Uh, where's that video at? What about what hashtags do they use? Valorant, Valorant Clips, Valorant Gaming. Can I copy this somehow? Oh, hell yeah. I love technology. Thank you, Google Pixel. <laughs> My Google Home heard me. We're almost there. Holy crap, please. I just want to post this video. Please. There we go. Post. All right. Video's posted. We'll post this on other platforms later. Holy crap. I'll probably retry in the fall and then if I still can't do it, then either transfer colleges or switch my major to cybersecurity. You got great news? Uh oh. Moon, you're trying to work on graphic design? Good, man. Develop some, uh, some, some valuable skills. Dude, if you can... Man, Moon, if you really want to <laughs> make it happen, dude, learn social media. Learn about every platform. 
Remember what makes things go viral? People will pay big money for that. Uh, Mister, I'm going back to the island over the summer. I'm kind of bummed I won't be able to retake this class over the summer since it's uh, only in person. So I asked my mom if her job has any internships. Um, and she asked around and found me an IT internship? No way. W mom. Boom, networking, right? <laughs> uh, it's not at her job, but she said she uh, tutored some higher up kids, so I'm sure uh, to get the job. Dude, that's awesome. Hell yeah. Boom, networking. Ask your family, ask your friends. Reddit went public and goes up 50% for the first day. Yeah, I saw that. It's funny. Anytime a company IPOs, it's either they tank right after because everyone's dumping it, like the VCs are just dumping it, or it takes off. I feel like I never see it just hang out doing nothing. Reddit's not profitable, right? Like they're they're still operating at a loss. And all their money comes from ads. Is that what their that their main revenue stream? If all those are true, that's a hard pass for me. Dude, yesterday one of my stocks made me made me twenty five thousand dollars just in one day. That stock just popped. I know I say don't invest in individual stocks. But I've had that stock for, for years and years and years. But holy crap, that was nuts. I looked and I'm like, $25,000? Holy crap, my net worth has jumped up. But I need to... <laughs> now I'm trying to strategize because I'm trying to dump all of my individual stocks eventually over time. But I don't want to dump this one because I'm... What am I up? Don't ask what it is. Because... Then the, subs are, the subscribers will be mad because they're paying for this. <laughs> but I do post all these updates in the Discord. Uh, yeah, if I sell, if I sell my entire, all my shares of this company, it's about eighty thousand dollar profit. I'm not paying tax on that. No thanks. So I got to figure out a strategy. I wish I knew, and what really sucks. This is the worst part. First world problems. What really sucks is, I don't know how much I'm gonna make this year as a content creator, as being self-employed. So it's like makes it even harder to strategize. Cause if I knew, if I had a fixed income, then it'd be easier. I'm like, okay, well making this, this much into my, this this amount until I hit the next tax bracket, cool. I'll just, uh, I'll sell this much. And you know, it's easier to strategize. But dude, I don't know, I'm not sure what to do with the variable income. I actually might have to talk to um, some of my CFP buddies. Papa Money Run has to get his learn on. Also, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just flooding you guys with information, but we're going to do a sponsorship. Wait, did I sign an NDA for this? No, I did not. Um, you guys know OnePlus? They make devices, smart uh, smartphones and stuff. They hit me up for a sponsorship. And I'm like... How are we going to make this like finance related? And they're pitching it as a, you know, more affordable flagship phone. They wanted to say they might do some like tax return stuff mixed in. I'm like, okay, well, let's try to make it. I don't want to make it like, oh, blow your tax return on a new phone or, you know, anything like that. But I think we'll, we'll make something work. But I'm, I'm excited about that. Because OnePlus... I, mean, I like their I like their products. They make great products. I almost got their foldable phone. <clears throat> oh yeah, I, I heard Chipotle's doing a split. Was it a fifty to one? Or yeah, fifty to one. Nothing phones. Nothing's also cool. I haven't tried their phones, but. I hear good things. All right, did, did I forget to do something? My brain's moving real fast. Did we post the video? We did, right? We did. Okay. 
Yeah. Fifty to one. All right. Wow. What is their stock price right now? I guess like fourteen hundred. Twenty nine hundred. Holy crap. Holy moly. So what is that? Um, divide that by 50. What is that? Let's see, 290. I can't math in my head. I'm sorry. Can't do it. All right, let's play. Match. 58 bucks. That is much more enticing to people than $2,900, even though fractional shares exist. But I think it also makes it easier for employees because I'm pretty sure employees probably get RSUs, restricted stock units, as part of their salary. So I think it also makes that their lives a little easier. I wonder how much of it is, I mean, a good chunk of it's probably psychological, right? As an investor, oh, $2,900, even though it makes no sense. Like no one, no one cares about the, like the price in that way. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this stock is $58 versus uh, this stock's $2,900. It doesn't work like that, right? But I think a lot of beginners will think that way. And that is the biggest red flag Come back here. Oh, can't believe I got that. I'm gonna go for the knife. <laughs> uh, oh, TikTok stream, right? Should we start that? Um, 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 um. um. Why am I walking? Thought I heard a sheriff in there. Oh, this is the warm up? I'm all getting I'm getting all sweaty for the warm up. Oh we both crouched. <laughs> oh, that's good. Mr. O says my dad randomly asked me what I know about investing today. And I told them about VOO and how I've made a grand total of $21 uh, profit so far. And he said one of his buddies told them to buy as much Tesla stock as you can. Oh, no. There's always those friends. There's, there's always that friend. Honestly, back in the day, I was that friend. <laughs> uh, I did not know anything, but I acted like I knew a whole lot. I'm not saying I'm an ex total expert now, but I mean, compared to back then, my goodness, how naive I was. Yeah, Tesla's one of those ones where it's like, I don't know, man. I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't touch it directly. If it's in an ETF I'm getting, okay, but... Don't know. Ouchie. Oh, 
Ouchie. I feel like the opinion of Tesla is so volatile. Like, either you love it or hate it. What am I doing? Why are we like this? That's it, just gave up. Yeah, I, I might be the the outlier. I'm kind of in between. I don't know. It's like in terms of their electric cars, I mean, they're just vastly, I mean, they're so far ahead from the competition. For their cars, their manufacturing, their software, right? Their autopilot software, they're just it, it feels like they're like it feels like they're light years ahead of everybody else you know like if i had to choose another car i don't know if i would choose anything other than a tesla at this point because they spoiled me they spoiled my wife and i with with that damn autopilot even though it tries to kill me on a regular basis but it's still at least on the freeway it's like i can't imagine not having it anymore So yeah, I think they're, they're, at least the car that I have, I mean, it's, it's a great car. But cars are also a tough business, you know? Very tough business. And it seems like they're very, very early when it comes to the robotic stuff. I think their solar business is doing really bad, I think. Someone can, maybe someone can fact check that. How much of their um, profits come from a solar roof. There's also the battery pack. I think that's more Camillo's department, battery pack and the charging stations. I'll have to look at their the revenue streams. I'm not sure. Sounds like you love it. <laughs> the car, yeah. The stock. Uh. Honda revealed a 2026 preload with a uh, prelude with only two doors. $31,000. 2026, huh? Why so far ahead? Prelude. What does that look like? Yeah, Tesla does have a solar unit. Can one of you look up what their... Um, what the revenue streams are. There should be like a pretty picture with like a bunch of colors and like streams and I'll say like if it's a bigger stream it'll be a bigger number, you know? I'm curious. Dang it. Okay, there we go. Uh, Tesla's energy generation and storage segment generates 6 billion in US revenue for 2023. What percentage of their total revenue is that? No way it says 31k. Dealer is going to have a sick AF fee. Energy 6% of the revenue. Okay. Pretty small. And then they're also working on a supercomputer. I think the goal for that is... I don't know if they're going to just only make that for internal use. It'd be smart for them to license that. Because then we're talking about NVIDIA, right? Now NVIDIA get, comes in the conversation. If companies like Tesla no longer need NVIDIA GPUs, NVIDIA uh, compute to train their AI models, NVIDIA will take a dip there, or a hit there, I should say. Anyways. And then Apple's also getting sued. I mean, I was waiting for that to happen.
Um, I think that's going to get even worse. For, for all these massive companies, I think what's going to happen is we're going to see more regulation. We're going to see more of these lawsuits. And these lawsuits are going to come from not just the U.S., but other countries. And that's going to that's gonna, uh, tap into their, their revenue, you know? All right. Let's do that one more time, and let's start the TikTok stream while well, we're starting an hour late. Okay. Match found. TikTok is live. EU versus Apple. Yeah. I mean, they've, they've got a pretty gnarly monopoly on the App Store. Honestly, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Apple. I think I've I think I've talked about this before. I think they need some pain. They need some pain. They need they need a little slap in the face here and there to make sure. They don't get too cocky, you know? It's for their own good. Is that behind me? Pixel beta? Hell yeah. Pixel gang, baby. There's a cat here. There's a taco truck here. This map has so many Easter eggs. There's a pho restaurant here. We gotta let's find the pho restaurant. Where is that thing? Probably here. Here it is, the pho restaurant. Look at this. This whole time, there's a breakfast place and a pho. It's called Pho Nominal. Aha. Uh -huh. What else is here? Uh, la Pusera? Poseria? We know the boba shop. Boba shop's here. So in the last video I made, I was, you know, trying to create some lore. Like, oh, Reyna's working here, and Jet's working here. I didn't realize these were even here. The poor level, de uh, poor level designers, they spent so much time on this level, and we don't even appreciate all the love they put into it. Oh, ouchie. Do you think um, Apple's commissions cut is big for the um, for their app store? Yeah, I think so. Same with Steam. Steam takes like a 30% cut. It's a lot. I think Twitch also takes like 50% of people's um, subscriptions, subs. It's also a lot. Ooh, ouchie. What's up, Carlin? How you doing? Do you still recommend a junior a junior in high school majoring in computer science? If not, what are the major? I mean, that, that depends on you and your interests. Are you interested in computer science? Are you doing it just for the money? It's not the worst thing to do, but... You know, if you don't at least enjoy a little bit of it, it's going to be very difficult for you. Ooh, he was waiting for me. What else is on this map? What else we got? There's a skateboard shop here. Look at this. Wow. Did you guys know this was here? Look at this. 
We gotta pay attention. Okay, now we gotta explore this map. See what else is here. We got Mantis. Okay, just a clothing store. Let's look like, like, like a surf shop clothing store. Like PacSun, maybe. Oh, what the hell? We're shopping. What else? What else we got here? Some graffiti. What else? More graffiti. Anything over here? Nothing. Oh, 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 oh. More graffiti? Yeah, just, just graffiti. Oh my goodness. Have you gotten the um, CompTIA A plus certification? Nope, I haven't got any of those certs. Imagine how good their products um, have to be to stay open in a war zone. What do you mean? Whose products? Talking about Apple? Oh, ouchie. Fitness with Rocky says, how do I save money up to 10K? Dominating. Well, decide what percentage of your paycheck you're gonna save. Well, I guess ideally you would, you would uh, determine when you want that $10,000 buy. And then you can determine how much of your paycheck you need to save. What's up, Brian? My day was uh, my day was okay. My day was okay. Wasn't as productive as I wanted, but we'll we'll make up for it tomorrow. How about you? Slurp says, "How do I discipline myself to save more money for a car? I'm 16." Crouch peak, nice. Good strat, good strat. Oof. Um, anyways, more discipline. Couple ways you can do that. You can watch motivational videos online. You could pick up a book. Maybe like Psychology of Money or something. You can learn delayed gratification. That's probably the best best skill to learn um, as a 16 year old, delayed gratification. No problem, fitness. Thousands of murders happening right outside their doors, yet Boba Shop still has the lights on. <laughs> they got bills to pay, right? Oh man. No problem, Slurp. Zach says, early 20s, $15,000 in savings, no 401k, $50,000 salary, looking for a new job. Do I start 401k or invest? A lot of information. Early 20s, you have $15,000 saved. Where's that money saved? If it's not in the high yield savings account, that is your, your very first goal. Do that ASAP so you can earn some, some more cash for your cash. Link on my profile has the one that I use. Comes with a nice little sign up bonus. Um, for the 401k, I mean, you can do 401k, it has a, has a higher contribution limit compared to something like the Roth IRA. But the nice thing about the Roth is you don't need an employer to open one up. So maybe you can do that. Maybe you can do the open up the high yield savings, transfer that 15k to the high yield savings and then open up a Roth IRA and max that out. And you can max it out using part of that 15K potentially. I don't really know your situation, but you do want to save money for emergencies. Certain amount of, uh, certain amount of money for living expenses in case you lose your job, something happens, car breaks down. You do want money saved for emergencies. What headphones are those? They are the Hi-Fi Man Edition XS. They are the most amazing headphones I've ever I've ever owned. They have a wife and kids to feed exactly. 
they gotta keep making that boba. This is still the warm up. What are we doing? Thoughts on Capital One Quicksilver as a credit card? I don't know that specific one. I would ask, what are what's your number one spending category? What do you spend the most money on? Is it food, gas, travel, and then we'll we we, we want to base our decision more so off of that. Oh jeez, don't panic, y'all. That's a bad spot to be in. Who's gonna win this fight? Amateur. Oof. Glob says, what is the best credit card if my spending category is food mostly? I think that's a good question. For food, let's see. You can go with the Chase, I think this is the Chase Freedom. Can someone check that for me? Chase Freedom. Is the Chase Freedom Unlimited, I believe? They might have 3x on points, uh, 3x back on, on food. The thing to be careful is some people will choose a credit card that has an annual fee, like the American Express Gold has a $250 annual fee. And people like that because it gives them 4x back on food. But if you do the math, depending on how much you spend on food, it might be cheaper for you to get a, a zero annual fee credit card that pays 3% instead of 4 Uh, Freedom Unlimited, no fee as well. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. There's probably a sign-up bonus, too. The, uh, oh. If you spend a certain amount of money within, like, the, the first, like, three or four months, you might get, like, 200 bucks, 300 bucks, something like that. Just, uh... Make sure you're not spending extra money just to get those points, because that also defeats the purpose. The angel's dead. Oh! Get the heals, get the heals. Oh, nice shot. Chase cards aren't easy to get. That's why I got the Capital One's um, Capital One Saver One Cash. Mister O says, "Yeah, with my credit card, if I spend one thousand dollars in the first ninety days, I get twenty-five thousand points." Oh, jeez. There you go. Just hook up all your bills to that. That helped a lot. That's what my wife and I did. We, my wife and I got the Chase Sapphire Preferred, and we just switched all of our bills to that, paid for groceries, everything, and we easily get the uh, got the sign-on bonus. And we use those points to we use those points to book a trip to Korea. We basically got like 900 bucks off of that trip, the plane tickets. Pretty sweet. If you use credit cards right, they can be very very helpful. If not, you'll get wrecked. Shane says, how much money are you up today? Just today? Let's find out. Yesterday I was up like $25,000. Had a very good day for one of my investments. Um, just in equities, we are up about 20,000. This doesn't include my, my um, other account that's not in here. We'll say 20,000. Dustin says, should I get rid of my Bank of America account? So 
So it depends. I still have my Chase account purely for the purpose of um, depositing cash. Because with the, the online bank that I use, depositing cash is a pain in the ass. So I have a minimum amount in my Chase just so I don't pay any fees, any account fees. One kill remaining. So it might be worth keeping that account open just for that. Sounds like a trap. Yeah, credit cards can absolutely be a trap. Gotcha. It happens all the time. People love to chase points. And they end up spending more money. So you gotta be careful. I have no account fees and my card gets points, but I don't get a percentage back. I get 5% back on Amazon. Nice. You got the Amazon Prime card. That one's a no-brainer if you have a if you shop on Amazon. It's a total no-brainer. I love that card. You also get 5% at Whole Foods. No annual fee? Yeah, that's a, that's my that's probably my favorite card. <laughs> my Amazon Prime card. Alright, let's get into an actual game, huh? Do some Swifties. Tyler says. What type of investing do you recommend? There are so many different options. I love the stock market. And within the stock market, low cost fund, set it and forget it, go enjoy your life. You can automate it. You invest every month, every week, whatever you'd like. So if you wanna be radiant with your money, with your finances, with your investments, that's what you do. Yeah, 5% with the Amazon card. Oh, so you don't have the Amazon card? You have some other card? And you get 5% back on Amazon? Hello, hello? Um, yo. Who do we want to be here? I don't want to play Yoru. Buy the rumor, sell the news. There you go. What's up, Jason? What age did you start investing? Quite late. I was maybe 26. Oh, I ignored their message. Whoops. I have the Amazon card. I just didn't know uh, it was used by Whole Foods for a discount. Yeah. They do 5%. Although you have Amazon Prime, right? I think that might be the requirement. But yeah. 5% on Amazon. 5% at Whole Foods. I think those are the main things. You have that? Nice. It's a good card. I like it. Like, if you're already going to shop on Amazon a lot, there's no annual fee. Might as well just use it, you know? You get a 5% on it. Uh, you're basically getting a 5% discount on Amazon, you know? Of course, pay the card off in full every single month. You guys, you guys know. You know the rules here. Todd says, how old are you? Guess. Take a guess. You're thinking of getting Canva Pro? Every time I use Canva, I want to use like a Pro feature and that paywall thing pops up. Canva's, Canva's very impressive. I'm very impressed with Canva. I used it for the last two videos. Mr. O says, I just checked and it says my current balance is like $100 and my statement balance is like $440, but I paid it off last due date for sure so the 440 is just the total i've used on the card oh okay that's a lot hold on your current balance is 100 and my statement balance is 440. how's that possible shouldn't it be that your your current balance should almost always be more than your statement balance am i thinking about this right Dustin use it for everything on Amazon. Big brain, Dustin. Big brain. Might as well, right? Time to jump. We'll make some noise. Oh, yep, over here. Uh, are they? Thirty seconds left. Here. Spike planted. Ooh, nice shots. We we are we are 34 years old. We'll be 35 in in July. Thoughts on options? Not a fan of um, derivatives at all. 
So options, futures, buy and hold. That's all we do. We like to buy and hold. Michael, welcome back, Michael. What's the best savings account to open online with the highest percent of ROI? I don't really recommend chasing the highest interest rate, high yield savings account, unless you have a lot of money, because it's not gonna make a huge difference. You may wanna balance that with simplicity, like how can you have less accounts spread across, right? How can you avoid having like a Vanguard account, a Chase account, a SoFi account? But if you if you do have a lot of cash, then yeah, it'll make a difference. The high, oh wow, that was a nice shot. I think the highest I've seen is probably, it might be Wealthfront, but with Wealthfront, you have to have someone sign up with your referral link and that's only good for three months. So 5.5%, I think, is the most I've seen using that. Austin, you use SoFi. Nice. Love it. What's up, Hack? Welcome back. You have direct deposit? Yeah, same here. What's a good one I can use where it's not a hassle and the money could just sit there? Not a hassle, huh? Mm. Probably either Wealthfront or SoFi. What other accounts do you have? Do you have any investment accounts? Kaz says, my credit card limit is 800 pounds. I spend 715 on it. Is that bad even if I pay it on time so it doesn't build interest? I think that's fine, Kaz. Just keep in mind, I'm not sure how it is in the UK, but you want to, hold on, there's a lot going on here. Damn it. When you go to use your credit, let's say you're gonna open up a new credit card, or you're gonna borrow some money to buy a house or a car, just make sure that balance is, is completely paid off for at least a few months before. That way it all your credit gets reported to, again, I'm not sure how it is in the UK, but here in the US, credit card companies, lenders, they'll, they'll report information to these things called credit bureaus. And these credit bureaus will track your credit score, credit report. So the idea is that if you are gonna use a lot of your credit, it's fine if you pay it off in full, but when you go to use your credit, have like a clean slate for at least a month or two. You know what I mean? Western Alliance is 5.36%, okay. That's pretty nice. Okay. Are we participating in this game? Barely. We're getting, we got one kill. Let's participate a little more. It says zero minimum payment due, so I don't think it's carrying a balance. Okay. Cool. Oh, they're coming over here for sure. Oh my goodness. Did we just get three kills? We just got three kills. And we've, that was the fourth. <laughs> well, they all lined up, huh? Let's clip that. <laughs> okay. Shane, I started investing in Robinhood before moving to Fidelity. Should I roll over brokerage? So you have investments still in Robinhood? But now you have someone Fidelity, and you, now you're using Fidelity as your main. Austin use Fidelity. Yeah, Fidelity's fine. Like Vanguard's fine. I had my 401k in Fidelity, but honestly, uh, like I said, I want to simplify, so I moved that into my SoFi account and got a $250 bonus for transferring it. It's pretty sick. And then I transferred my stocks from Robinhood to SoFi, and got another 100 bucks. SoFi is just making it rain, man. <clears throat> Through my job, just a 401k. Uh, what were we talking about, Michael?
So my dad told me to set up direct, direct debit. So whenever I use my credit card, when I get paid a few days after, it will pay off the credit card debt in full automatically. And that's done monthly. If you're talking about automation, sign me up, man. I love, I love when people automate their finances. Investing on a regular basis, auto paying your bills. Oh jeez, don't look guys, don't look. All right, you can look now. <laughs> Is it more complicated to file taxes with income outside of the US or would I just need to bring their equivalent of a W-2 to the IRS? Is it more complicated to file taxes with income outside of the US? That's a question for a CPA. I'm not sure. Word that terribly. I think I understood what you were talking about, Kaz. Uh, Zanshi, greetings from Germany. Oh, welcome. Oof. Should we grab this? We can grab it. Oh, no, why did oh, why did I throw it there? That was dumb. Oof. That guy's good. Are they? Yeah, that guy's good. Their KO is very good. And we were just spraying left and right. <clears throat> Dr. Zodiac says, my credit limit is only 300. I've never paid the minimum. I've never been late, but they won't raise it. How long have you had it for? What age do I begin filing taxes? I think it's more about how much you make. Dr. Z. Oh, thanks for coming over to Twitch, Dr. Z. Trippy says on YouTube, how do you recommend starting investing? Because I just got my first job a week ago. And I'm not sure how to start. Well, congrats on the job. So does your employer offer a 401k? More specifically, does your employer offer a matching benefit? Meaning if you contribute to the 401k, they'll also throw some money in there. So that's, that's your homework. Find out if they offer that. If not, I would open up a Roth IRA if you're in the US, Trippy. TFSA if you're in Canada. ISA if you're in the UK. Oof. Start with that first. I'll consult my CPA chat, GPT, nice. Yeah, so 500 pounds comes out of my account a month to contribute to my S&P, nice. My dad told me to use this app called Invest Engine. Have you heard of it? I'm just worried I'm using a bad platform. I haven't heard of it. But the apps that are available here will be different than the apps available in the UK, Canada. So it does make it a little difficult for me to recommend stuff in other countries, you know? But do some research online. Okay, Dr. Z. Um, I just turned 19 with a 650 credit score. Close to a year. And have you, have you asked them for a credit limit increase? Beginner credit cards? Discover has probably the most popular beginner credit card. If not, look for a no annual fee secured credit card. And you can use websites like NerdWallet, Bankrate. They'll um, they'll go and rate a bunch of different credit cards for you. You just gotta be, be careful because they are a little biased. I noticed they, they'll they promote the ones that pay them the most money if you use you know their link to sign up for. So just keep that in mind. Oh, jeez. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Let's get out of here. I don't know how we survived that. Oh, thank you, thank you. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, GG, y'all. GG, GG. No problem, Trippy. So you asked, but they declined the credit limit increase. Interesting. You have a 650 credit score? That is kind of low. And you've had it for about a year. Your credit line is 300 and you've never been late. You've never paid the minimum. 
So you pay the balance off in full every single month. Interesting. I would expect your credit score to be a little higher. Oscar on YouTube says, is there a way to buy crypto with an IRA so I can pay less taxes? Yeah, there are. Okay, so a couple things about that. You could open up a, there are companies that will specifically do this. I don't know if I recommend that. But yeah, there are companies where you can open up an IRA with them, Roth or traditional, and you can have access to crypto. Um, alternatively, there are Bitcoin ETFs out there. They are quite expensive in terms of the expense ratio. So, you know, look into that. Chase Rise is good if you want to get into the Chase ecosystem. Okay, there you go. I haven't heard of that one. Monkey, I do read uh, TikTok chat. I do tend to prioritize YouTube and Twitch. Alrighty. Hello, hello. A shy paper bag. No problem, Oscar. I don't know if I would invest in crypto in my retirement account. You know what? I'd probably do like 10% Bitcoin. Only problem is, yeah, the Bitcoin ETFs, they're pricey. Let me see. Um, Bitcoin ETF. I mean, I love Bitcoin. It's one of my favorites. Dr. Zodiac, thanks for following me on Twitch. We, uh, we just started on Twitch like a month ago. We've been on YouTube and TikTok for like almost almost a year. If you guys could follow me on on uh, on Twitch, I'd appreciate that. Okay. Okay, so BlackRock has one for 0.12 percent. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. Arc has one for 0.2. It's a little high for me. What else is there? Okay, they're not as bad as I thought. And now I'm getting ideas. Now I'm thinking I want to do some Bitcoin in my in my IRAs. <laughs> well, thank you, Oscar, for the reminder. Okay, Doctor Z, you bought a truck, and when uh, you bought a truck when you first turned eighteen. I kind of ruined my credit out of curiosity out of curiosity i kind of ruined my credit because i didn't know about hard inquiries hmm i mean hard inquiries will drop off after they should stop affecting your credit score after about a year i mean they'll stay on your credit report for i think a couple years did you miss any payments on that and have you looked at your credit report just to see what's affecting it because if you look at your credit report they should show you what factors are you know causing your score to be what it is you know what's up webs <laughs> uh, Chase Freedom rises also for people starting out. Span, you're dropping all the credit card facts. I appreciate you. I keep meaning to put a link in my bio for for beginning credit cards. I'm just I'm, I'm very hesitant um, recommending credit cards in general because I don't want people to screw themselves over. You know. <clears throat> is three is three thousand dollars too much for a PC build? I think so. I think two grand is a little more reasonable. Dylan says, "What's your full time job? Full time content creator." This is my second channel, though. My main channel is the finance engineer. Check that one out. The finance engineer. <clears throat>
Are you beacon this? Are you crazy? Oh, man. Ouchie. No, sir, I'm kind of proud because I've got a 100% payment history on my credit report. Says I have low amount of credit lines and not enough history, as well as hard inquiries that are negatively affecting my score. Okay. So it sounds like you just need to stay coarse. And you'll continue making on-time payments. Oof. Yeah, you'll continue making on-time payments and... You should be good long-term. I'm not seeing any red flags from, from what you're telling me, you know? Is getting a credit card and being an authorized user on parent's card equivalent? So if you are the authorized user on your parent's account, you'll inherit a good amount of credit. I don't know if I would equate it one-to-one. -one. But it is a way to build credit, for sure. A valid way. Have you ever gambled, says Kaz. Yeah, like we've been to a casino a couple times with some friends and just had fun. But it never became a habit, you know? Are they on site? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I think your right side should be clear. Oh, she's back site. Don't panic, y'all. Nice. We got this. Last round before the switch. <clears throat> Do you have any uh, professional licenses like Series 6 or 7? I don't. Thought about it. But it would just be for fun. I wouldn't like. I'm not gonna be a. I'm not gonna be a practicing CFP, you know. Although I hear it makes it harder to make content because of compliance purposes. Are those Sennheisers? They're not. They are Hi-Fi Man. Hi-Fi Man. Hi-Fi Man. Oscar on YouTube says, "Do you think interest rates will cool down for buying cars and/or houses?" They're talking about um, cutting interest rates. A couple times this year but it doesn't seem like it's the right call because the economy is still pretty hot doesn't seem very cool you know so I wouldn't count on it um, when it comes to buying buying a car try to buy cash if you can sometimes dealerships will have um, some good financing deals my buddy finances car uh, I think it was like last year like three percent it was like a subaru i was shocked i didn't didn't realize dealerships will do that what is the rank of this fellow gamer says ian we're not ranked this season but uh we peaked at gold we rarely we rarely grind this game <clears throat> spanier says i'm at a 724 credit score with seven months credit history okay right on do you don't have a car loan do you like uh dr z Yeah, when it comes to credit, guys, it, it takes time. Just just make your payments on time, in full when it comes to credit. Long term, you should be okay. Dylan, thanks for sharing the live. Rinse and Repeats says, uh, I have my Series 7 and 6.3. Ooh, okay. Are you working, like, what are you working towards? Are you trying to be a CFP? CFA? And what are the... What are the compliance requirements around that? That's what I'm curious about. So if I do go for it, am I going to have a hard time making content? You know what I mean? That's what I don't want. YDK, what's going on? Welcome back, man. Kaz says I put $2,500 um, £2, on black, took it to fifty, took it to 5000 then uh, Martingale that to 11 k 
and never gambled since. I know chasing losses is bad, but I managed to uh, managed to recoup everything and quit. At my lowest, I owed 3,000 debt to my friends with uh, zero pounds in the bank, and I just turned 19, started gambling at 18. I haven't gambled for a month, and I hope I don't get the urge again. If you do, come back here. We will be your support group. Be very, very careful, please. Gambling, will, will, gambling like ruins lives, ruins families. Be very, very careful. Thoughts on Venture X card? My friends love the Venture X. I hear mixed things about Venture, uh, about Capital One's travel portal. Nice shot. But they do have that three hundred dollar uh, annual travel credit, which is nice. They also have a what was it like a some credit to go towards TSA pre-check and TNT. Um, we chose the Sapphire Preferred. $95 annual fee. Nice sign-up bonus, which we got. But if it works for you, awesome. Webzy says, I'm flying out to Cancun in a couple hours. All right, man. Have a, have a good trip, dude. Take pictures. And you can let us know how it is. I was a financial advisor, and I don't believe you'd be able to do what you're doing now. All right, well, it's good to know. Maybe I'll just take a, I'll take a practice test for fun and I'll just print the certificate out and put it on my fridge, <laughs> put it behind me. Hey guys, here's the, the certificate I, I got from taking a practice test. What's up, Alex? Not my mother on bingo night. <laughs> oh, we got bamboozled. A little bit. There. Viper cave. Oh, two cave actually. Ouch. Her sub, what's going on? Her sub says, what's the difference between Roth IRA and like a regular investment account? Nice try. All right, so the question is, what's the difference between a Roth IRA and a regular investment account? A couple things. The Roth IRA has a max contribution limit of $7,000 for 2024. And you get an awesome, awesome tax advantage with the Roth IRA. You put money in, that money's gonna grow, you'll make a profit. As long as you withdraw those profits in retirement, it's tax-free. So, Roth IRA is one of the best millionaire-making tools out there, man. It is a no-brainer for most people. Now, there's also the traditional IRA, which people, a lot of people just assume the Roth is automatically better. That's, that's just not true. It's all a tax game, guys. How can you pay the least amount of taxes through the course of your life, not just now, not just tomorrow, but 10 years, 20 years from now. So for example, if you are a high income earner, you wanna try and pay less in tax, right? Compared to if you're making less. So an example would be, oh, I missed that. Nice, 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 nice. An example would be if you make $100,000 per year now, but in retirement, you know that you can probably easily live off of 80,000. It'd be best to get that tax break now. Right? And pay those taxes in retirement. It's all a numbers. It's all a tax game. One enemy remaining. Noise? Yeah. Oh, just punched my microphone. All right, Alex says, Ron, I spent ten dollars to try and help a person win the win the TikTok gift game, and she still lost. Win the damn TikTok gift game. Other person had like a simp that spent fifth. Oh, the the battles, the battles. Oh man. Well, did it make your friend happy? If so, then maybe it's not a total loss, huh? I was happy that they. Sorry, I was unhappy that they brought this haul 
back. They took away the barricade. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh, I'm scared. You got this. <laughs> Thanks for the motivation, GG. 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 What nice people. W teammates. What else is going on? Mondo says company I invested in is being purchased while my shares are getting bought out. What did you invest in? Brady says, just sold my CSGO inventory for uh, 13 to 14K. I have a large sum in crypto, but I want to invest in a traditional way. I like what I'm hearing, Brady. Are you in the US? If so, step one, open up that high yield savings. Transfer that cash there until you figure things out. Roth IRA is a great option, man. We were just talking about that. Not my friend, some random person I got. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> okay, then that's worse. <laughs> it's okay. It was only, what, 10 bucks or whatever? Travis says, 23 years old with $10,000 to invest. Where do I put it? Transfer it to a high-yield savings ASAP. The one that I use. Link is on my profile. You'll get a nice little sign-up bonus for that. And then invest in your retirement. And this is assuming you have no credit card debt. So three things really, high yield savings, credit card debt, retirement. Retirement could be a Roth IRA, it could be a 401k through your employer. It matches my duo. For, for the duo thing, yes. Realistically, half. What's going on here? Mm. Mondo says, I'm coming up at 1.5 mil and don't want to work anymore. What can I do? 1.5 mil? I want to run some calculations, but the game's about... Now, let's, let's just do it anyways. Actually, uh, I'll do it if you come over to YouTube or Twitch, because it's, it's going to be impossible for me to show you on uh, on TikTok. I know a high-yield savings will get me like 8k a month, but I'm looking for more. I mean, do that in the short term, but just know that the overall stock market has returned around 10% per year on average over the last like 50 years. Now keep in mind the high yield savings, that's not gonna last forever. Those interest rates are not gonna last forever. All right, what's the plan? Lose. Oh, lose, huh? Yeah. That's the first time I heard that. Congratulations, you are unique. Yeah. Thank you, I like to think so. <laughs> Brady, thanks for the meteor shower. Holy moly. Thank you so much, Brady. I've never gotten a meteor shower before. Appreciate you. Oh, they're coming to you. 
Oh my god, there's so many smokes. Is he in the smoke? Where is he? Here, one mid. I just feel lost. There, oh, there she is. I knew she was nearby. They're both here. Both there, both there, both there. One enemy remaining. Should we go for the knife? Oh, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Get it, get it! Nice, 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 nice. Can I get an uwu, sister? No. All right, <laughs> I, I try. <laughs> no. Oh, man. That is genuinely the first time anyone's ever asked me that, though. Oh, weird. Is, wait, is uwu a, like a bad thing or anything? I don't know, I'm old. It's not no, bad? It's not. Okay, cool. It's just like, it's just there, I guess. It's just there. It's just see, thing. Some people it's see it as like weird, I guess. Some people yeah. do, but otherwise. Okay, okay, gotcha. Some Ghost. Depends on, like, the, Jesus. the context. Some people don't care. I think it depends on like how you're using it. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I just gotcha. put it there because your sister was taken, so. Oh, that makes sense. Ghost Raider says, yo, I have $300 split between NVIDIA and S&P 500. Oh, okay. What should I invest in? I have was... like $1.5,000. Assuming you have no credit card debt. Low cost funds, man. I don't recommend individual stocks. So you're, you have S&P 500? Dude, go 100% on S&P 500. If you do the research and you, and you do find a ETF or mutual fund you really like, maybe you're really into, I don't know, electric cars, or you're really into tech. Is it here? Um, definitely don't YOLO into NVIDIA or something like that. Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Oh, I got it halfway, got it halfway. Oh, NT. Nice We got those. No, we don't. We're gonna lose, and that's okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what's the difference between okay what's the yeah, difference between close. an ETF <laughs> and index fund? A red carpet is A-OK, -okay, guys. I'm a winner. So technically, an index fund can be an ETF or a mutual fund. That would be the better distinction. Oh, what what the hell? Oh. Holy moly. That's fun. So, um... Index. Start with an index. So you have the S and P 500. The S and P 500 isn't actually an investment. It's just a, literally a list of companies, about 500 or so companies. But there are companies that will look at that list and they'll go and they'll invest in all those companies. And then us as the investor, as a customer, can go and invest with them. So there's a distinction there. S and P 500 is simply just a list, an index, list of companies. So you can invest in the S and P 500 index with an ETF or a mutual fund. Mutual uh, ETFs, they're pretty much like stocks. They're traded like stocks. You can buy and sell them freely, just like stocks. Um, mutual funds are a little different. You can only buy and sell them once per day. There are usually higher minimums for mutual funds. So like, usually it's like minimum is like $3,000, I believe, for like a Vanguard or Fidelity S&P 500 fund. Psychology. Oh, shit. Doesn't work on them. Work on. You're just right. Oh. <laughs> Last round in the half. We I tried. Mondo, welcome to Twitch. Worry about hiring a stock investor. A lot of my family members have lost so much, so I'm in between just buying houses and renting them. I'm in the trade, so I could um, read you a lot of the homes. My goal to spend more time with my family and not being a number for a company. It's a good goal. Okay. What would I do? If I had, well, you had like 1.5 million? Um, after this game, let's run some numbers. There's one 
on top of tube. Thank you. Oh. Back up, back up, back up. Still in tube. Sky. Yeah, now oh, she's kitchen, I think. Spikes in tube. What? Ooh, spawn. Noise. Okay, cool. So the calculation I want to run is it's more simulations. What we do is we punch in a number. We punch in how much we need to live each year. Um, and then how long we want that money to last. Vanguard has a pretty good calculator for that. It's just an estimate, but it should at least give you an idea. Um, and the theory I'm trying to prove out is if we just invest all of that 1.5 million into a low cost S&P 500 fund, let's run like hundreds, hundreds and thousands of simulations to see how long that money will last. Assuming you're withdrawing a certain amount per year. So that's what, that's what I want to prove out. Should be fun. Should be fun. I love these, these types of calculations. And the goal is not to be, you know, not to give you exact math. The goal is just to give you some direction. Give you some insight, you know? Royal on TikTok says, how much of my income should one invest? What percentage of income should one invest? 20 and done. 20 and done. 20%. If you can do 20%, very nice. If you can do 20%, you'll be in good shape. Aim for 20. And that 20%, you can, you can divide up into smaller buckets. So if you are, let's say, saving up for a house, you can do, I don't know, maybe 10% invest. 10% save for the house, you know, depends on you. Finance isn't necessarily a one size fits all, so we we have to be fairly generic here. Ghost Raider says, after I graduate college, should I save up for a single family house or live in a multifamily? Let me buy again. Okay, so after I graduate, should I save up for a single family house or live in a multifamily home and live in one unit renting oh, out the okay. other? House hacking, yes, you're talking about house hacking. I would do house hacking, yeah. It's quite competitive, because everyone's trying to do house hacking these days, but hey, if you can do it. We were tapping heads like crazy. We got Odin up here. All right. I'm gonna guess they're gonna be in spawn. Okay, I lied. You guys are too good. I wish I had an Uwu soundboard. I don't. Damn, would have been perfect. This person's name is uh, your sister Uwu. Uh, let's see. I'm 29 and fortunate enough to get this opportunity with the company. I took a risk. I took a risk in that is now selling. Don't want to just blow it. Smart. I like it. That's that's okay. That was the whole intention. Oh. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's get it. I mean, I, I've seen plenty of stories where people come up on a lot of money. Uh, can I have a spike right now? Sorry. Sweet. Sorry. Sorry. Right. Um, and they blow it. They blow it, and that money doesn't last them. It's so sad because it's so easy so easy to uh, to make money if you have money it's so incredibly easy and that's why the rich get richer one in tube eating pizza noise Ooh, pizza sounds good man you are insane <laughs> you're making 100k a year no debt so i'd like to be uh, around 80k so you make 100k a year no debt damn you're, you're in a great situation man so you'd like to be around 80k a year if I could. Oh, that's not nice. Okay. These are good numbers, because 
we'll use these exact numbers as inputs to these simulations. It's gonna be good. Can't wait. Let's win this round so we can go in and do that math. Still a man and I uh, like to buy toys. Hey man, you gotta enjoy your life too, right? You gotta find that balance. Cashy, what's up, man? What's your rank up to right now? Uh, we're not even ranked this uh, this act. <laughs> we're just playing slow play. Sebastian says, what do you think about entry level commission jobs to be a FA? Is that financial analyst, financial advisor? What do I think about those jobs? I'm not familiar with those jobs. Oh, my aim. Oh, my God. Nice try. That's embarrassing. <clears throat> All right, Royal Bass. Of the 20%, how much I say Robin Hood and how much in the Roth IRA? Max out the Roth IRA before you do anything in Robin Hood. And if you want to simplify your life, open up a SoFi account with the link in my bio. And then you can transfer your stocks from Robin Hood to SoFi and get a, get a bonus for that. Uh -uh. And then on top of that, you'll have a high yield savings Very account, good. which is awesome. And you'll also have the Roth IRA. On top of that, SoFi does a 2% match. So if you contribute money, they'll match 2% of it. So if you do it right, you'll probably get, let's see, about 80 bucks there, 180, probably close to 200 bucks. Maybe even more if you also set up direct deposit. Check that out. I use it myself. My wife and I have been using it for like two years. I transferred from Robinhood to SoFi. Got a bonus. Transferred my IRA from Fidelity. Got a bonus. And it's just nice to have everything in one place, you know? Dismiss, dismiss, dismiss. GG, uwu. Can we get a uwu for the win? No. Ah! Uh, uwu. GG's guys. Uwu. GG. <laughs> GG guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So entry level commission jobs to be a financial advisor. Yeah, I'm not sure, man. You'll have to talk to. There are a few people I can refer you to. Um. If you, there's someone on TikTok, he's an advisor. His name is Wealth with Jordan. Um, pretty nice dude. Um, this is his profile picture. I'm sure if you message him, I know plenty of advisors. So if you just say that uh, Imran, the finance engineer sent, sent you and he should respond. All right, well, let's do it. Let's, uh, if you guys can head over to TikTok or Twitch, cause we're gonna do some, um, some calculations here for our good friend, um, Vanguard nested calculator. Okay, let me change it here. So here's, here's the, what we're trying to figure out. So someone here, um, has come up on a significant amount of money. And we want to see how long that money is going to last if we were to invest it in, let's say, the S&P 500. Why am I not finding the calculator that I want? Nope, not that one. Did they get rid of it? Oh no, please no. Retirement planning tool, retirement accounting income, worksheet, RMDs, no. Mm, it's not what I want.
and they must have changed it or this website's broken oh it is okay how about this retirement nest egg calculator what do we got here aarp is this one good Well, let's, I guess we'll try this. We'll see what happens. Let me turn off the dark mode. Okay, you are 29, and you want to retire now? <laughs> what, what do you want to put for this? What's up, cat's meow? Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, YouTube or Twitch, sorry. If you want to see what we're looking at in a better view, YouTube or Twitch. Rouge, I see your question. Give me a second. Was it the inherited RMD calculator you were looking for? Not RMD. We want to basically run a bunch of simulations to see how long our money is going to last. Okay. Well, I guess you want to re retire now. <laughs> oh, we'll just do 30. I don't know. And you want to... Uh, let's, say, let's say your income is $80,000 per year. And what was it? $1.5 million was it? 1.5, Yeah, 1.5, okay. Oops, 100%. Years of retirement income, okay, so let's see, you are, I hope this works. How long do humans live for? Life expectancy in the US. 77 years? All right, let's go with that. So how many years you got to live? 77 minus 29, you got 48 years to live. Let's round up, 50 years. Okay. You may need you may need a neg a, a nest egg of 3.1 million to retire at age 30. This is based on retirement expenditures of $80,000 per year. This amount is 100% of your projected yes 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 yes. Uh, we'll ignore social security. But I want to know how long it'll last. Okay, here we go. Okay, and it is accounting for inflation, which is nice. So it's, it, as you can see here, so as as each year goes on, let me zoom a little more so you can see this. You have your starting balance, 1.5 million. Desired income, we'll do $80,000 per year, right? And as, as we progress here, we're accounting for inflation. So, and you have to do that technically, about two to 3%. So it looks like it's going to last you up until age 50. Yeah. That's depressing. <laughs> Thanks for coming over to uh, Twitch, y'all. I, I see your messages. Hang out for a bit. We're just, we're just trying to wrap up this calculation. So let's do one more thing. Hopefully it saved everything it did. What if you lived off of $60,000 per year? Is there, a, is there a... Can you just tell me how long it'll last? Give me how many years it'll last. Years of retirement. Okay, so about 50 years. This one's a little better. So from 30 to... About 59. Now here is what will get you all the way there. Have you guys heard of the 4% rule? I want to do 4% of 1.5 million. Uh, zero 04, that's, oh, it's 60,000. Okay. 
So we were doing the 4% roll. All right. Well, there you go. About 50 years. <clears throat> what do you think? Still depressing? That's a, that's, a, that's a little better, right? Monsoon is her sub on TikTok. Nice. Thanks for coming over. Um, so people who live past 77 is considered the top 1%. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so my next question is, uh, what would you do to get more of a passive income situation? I'm down to still work. I just don't want to work for a company. I want to make my own schedule, have my wife and kid um, come with, etc. Okay, so that was going to be the next thing I want to talk about. So maybe you supplement this income, right? So that way you're withdrawing less every year. So maybe, I don't know, $30,000. $30,000 each year. And that's going to last you. I mean, you're going to be able to pass this on to your kids. Yeah, this will last you till. Obviously, this is theoretically, this is what this calculator is doing is, is running a bunch of different simulations and trying to get some kind of average. I think it's I think it's called a Monte Carlo. The nice thing about this approach is it's like zero work. Like you don't really have to do a whole lot. If you go the real estate route. I mean, I think you said you were, you were doing some real estate, right? So you, you, you should know exactly what that's all about. Um, AJ says, hey, Imran, I've been loving the YouTube videos recently. Oh, thanks, man. Trying to, trying to find a formula. Trying to find a formula for all the videos that are non like coaching. I'm, tr I'm really trying to push coaching, but turns out people don't really want to talk about their finances live on stream. So I got to somehow convince people. Uh, you missed the rewards rip. Ghost Raider says, should I sell all my NVIDIA stock? I've only made around $30, but it's unreliable. Is it worth reinvesting all into the S&P 500? If it were me, that's what I would do. I think investing in just a single company is quite risky. Oh, it's a good song. Um, Cat's Meow says, I'm surprised. I feel like I see financial talks on TikTok a ton. It seems like compared to a couple years ago, because um, I don't know what happened, but TikTok kind of... Uh, Kind of uh, nerfed the the personal finance niche. Like the views just aren't even the same anymore. But you do see a lot of financial talks on TikTok, like live. I'm very sorry if this is offensive, but I see you as the Valorant Caleb Hammer. Ah, I like Caleb. Am I at least nicer than Caleb? <laughs> do I do I belittle you guys in the comments? I don't think I do. <laughs> I like him. I like Caleb. Um, I would like to see him be a little, a little nicer. But I think his personality is part of the reason why he's so popular. Because his his reactions are, and just the stuff that he says, it's classic. For sure. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, maybe not live, but uh, but more so like clips from long form videos. Okay. Cool. Cool. It's tricky for this um, for this channel. It's different because it's not just gaming, but it's also not just finance. 
something the algorithm is just constantly confused. But hopefully just it's, it sorts itself out long term. Isn't this song so good? My goodness. <clears throat> Gotta love lo-fi. What's up, Sammy? You're an accountant? I did not look at your background. Not an accountant. I'm an engineer, surprisingly. I'm just a total personal finance nerd and I became obsessed with this stuff and I wanna I wanna teach everyone all the stuff I wish school taught us. Most likely repost. Yeah, Sammy, I think I think I was talking to you in the comments section on one of the videos. You're gonna you're gonna do some like fitness content with gaming, something like that? Was that you? Why do you think life expectancy is so low? Processed foods, bad air? I mean, hasn't it only gone up? Wasn't the life expectancy like 30 years, you know, centuries ago? But yeah, I imagine, I mean, the, 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 the number one killer is what? Heart disease. Some of that's hereditary. Some of that is just, yeah, poor diet. Meat is a part of one of the number one causes of heart disease. Unless you're uh, a cat, <laughs> unless you're uh, you're an actual carnivore. Ghost Raider says, "Do you recommend investing into Berkshire Hathaway Class A? It's not a low cost ETF, but it's shown consistent growth." Mmm, the uh, Warren Buffett stock, huh? I mean, I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you exactly what stocks to invest in, but. We don't know what's going to happen to all these individual stocks. So right now, everyone's obsessed with NVIDIA, right? They're doing amazing. But guys, I've been doing this for almost a decade now, and I can't tell you how many NVIDIAs there have been in the past. All this hype, and then uh, it slowly dies, and, and that's it, you know? Or you have companies like BlackBerry, right? BlackBerry back in the day. Right, anyone, anyone here uh, in their 30s? Y'all remember BlackBerry and how massive BlackBerry was? BlackBerry was like the phone for business. Best way to get a small $500 loan? I mean, interest rates suck right now, so I don't know if I would even do that. Andrew says, how much is enough in a 401k to live a comfortable life? What is a comfortable life? How much you uh, want to spend per year? And when do you want to retire by? How long does that money want to last for? Josiah says, how should I split my savings? Cash versus investments after 401k Roth, 401k and Roth, I'm 24. How should I split my savings? Cash versus investments after 401k and Roth. Okay, so you're 24 and you're, you've maxed out your 401k You've maxed out your 401k and Roth, and now you have money left over. Is that the situation you're in? Um, so letting it sit in a high yield and cash out the interest, 92k every year wouldn't work. So in the short term, yes. So here's the thing, okay. So A, high yield savings are awesome right now, where they're paying about four or 5%, which is great. Um, especially in this economy. But here's the thing. In stock market last year, how much did it return? So I'm gonna take, take, let, me, let me hear your guesses. How much did the stock market as a whole return last year? Don't look it up, just take a guess. I looked this up earlier. Get your numbers in, everyone. Fitness and gaming? Nice. Hey, I don't see why that wouldn't work. Plenty of people like fitness and gaming. And if you like fitness and gaming, even better. Even better. Because then you're going to feel motivated, right? Because if the thing about doing something on the side, whether it's content creation, some kind of side hustle, is you're going to spend a lot of time and you're going to get no, you're going to get zero payoff. You're not going to make a cent. It's easier to keep going to push through it if you're passionate about something, you know? One push up for every death. Oh, okay, nice, nice. 
I like that. I think there's a lot of, uh, oh yeah. I see a lot of potential with that. My advice, if you're just starting, don't stream. Don't waste your time streaming. Focus all just making content. Make content, experiment, pump out as much content as possible, try so many different things, and then see what works, and then double down on things that work. Just do that, and you'll be okay. 9%, 8%, 15%, 10%, um, 25%, 40%, 500%, what's up, Rai? 24%. So the point I'm trying to make here, um, World Star, or I already forgot your TikTok name, so now your name is World Star. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is, yes, the 4 or 5% on a high-yield savings is great, but your money has a potential to grow by 24%, 25%. Not every year, obviously. The S&P 500 averages about 10% long-term over the course of 50, 60, 70 years. So we're not going to see 25% every year. In fact, let's look at the 20... I think 2022 is negative something. Yeah, negative 20%. Right? So on average. So that's the reason why you don't just want to keep it on a high-yield savings. A, because that interest rate is not going to last. But for now, hey... If you want to T-bill and chill, that's that's the uh, expression. Treasury bills and chill. You are going to say 25%? Damn it. Why'd you hesitate? <laughs> yeah, 25%. Uh, Josiah says, I have a high yield savings and two brokerage. One for fun with low contributions. One for dividend stocks. Okay. Dividends, I have I have a similar um, spiel. So like dividends are cool. Let's say you average, I don't know, 4%, 5%. You got to do the math. Like, is it better to just put your money into an S&P 500 fund and have it grow? You might beat the dividend portfolio, you know? So you got you to gotta weigh those options. What's up, Rouge? Is that a, is that a Pikachu? Nice. Very nice. Ryan says, if you got a coding problem and an expert coder and Google told you how to fix it, who would you listen to? If you got a coding problem and an expert coder and Google told you how to fix it, who would you listen to? Hmm. Do I know this expert coder? If not, probably Google. <laughs> he works with me? Oh, okay, then probably him then. Probably them. User16 says, um, better to invest in high growth stock versus high dividend. High dividends are, you gotta be very careful with the high yield paying dividend stocks. You know what, let's look at that right now. Uh... Maybe we're just, maybe we're, we're, I think we're just done with Valorant, huh? We'll just do some more finance talk for a little bit. Uh, if you can, come over to YouTube or Twitch. What were we doing? High yield, okay. Um, let me show you something. So there's this one stock. Technically, it's a little different. It's what's known as a REIT. R-E-R-E-I-T, Real Estate Investment Trust. But, you know, from our perspective, it's just a stock. So this company pays a 13% dividend, which is crazy, right? Holy crap, why don't I just go all in on this? Well, should we look at their stock price? Boom, negative 60% for the past... 24, 5, 27 years. So a couple things, a couple issues here. Let's say you go all in and then boom, it tanks. Well, you have a, a couple decisions. You got to, you, you have a couple options. You can just, you can just keep your money in there and hopefully the price goes back up so you can recoup your losses or you sell and take the loss. Um, one other thing to look at. I'm not sure what their history is. This is just how I, I sort of quickly analyze. 
is I want to see a how long how old is the stock or fund whatever it is. Looks like they are goes back to 1997 and I want to look at the dividend history. So it looks like they're paying about 18 cents per share, 35, 30, 25, 60, 20. This is like red flags. Red flags. Sound the alarm, guys. Sound the alarm. Hold on. Sound the alarm. So like red flags. What you want, if you were to choose a dividend investing strategy, is you want this number to be consistent and to go up. But right now it's a roller coaster. So very inconsistent dividends. Yeah, very inconsistent. Yeah, nope. Last year they're doing 22 cents. I thought I saw 22 cents down here too. Yeah, look at that. Red flag. So that's how I would analyze a uh, you know a dividend paying stock just quickly. Hope that was helpful. Uh, what else is going on here? Patrick says, how much should I have saved up at 19 years old? I don't expect you to have anything saved up at 19. But if you start at 19, awesome. Open up that Roth IRA, start investing now. You will thank me later, sir. Or ma'am. What's up, Tommy, my little pumpkin unicorn? <laughs> Just asking because I got a deep wound cut. Wait, what? Oh, I see, I see. You got a deep wound cut. Um, and you got stitches? Nurse said at night to let it get air to heal, but Google said to cover it. And it'll keep in moisture and heal faster. But nurse says keep it dry and air it out at night. Huh. Interesting. Well, that's tricky. You know what scares me? That that reminds me, just because someone is working as, yeah, whatever, nurse, C in my situation, I was working with a CPA, doesn't mean they know what the F they're talking about. And that's so scary to me, because you can go to a, a, you know, accountant, and they have credentials, they have experience, but maybe they have crappy experience, and you might get F'd over. So for example, I worked with a CPA, this dude did not know what a backdoor Roth conversion was. I had to explain to him like how it worked. Basically, you do if you make too much money, you can't contribute to a Roth IRA. It just that's that's the rule. <clears throat> how you get around that is you contribute to a traditional IRA and then quickly convert it to the, to the Roth IRA. You don't invest it, you contribute to the traditional, convert it to the Roth. Cool. Now you just got past that income limit. So, he was like Okay, so you contributed to the traditional IRA. I said, yes. He says, so you want the tax deduction? I'm like, no, I converted to the Roth. And he's like, so you don't want the tax deduction? I'm like, no, my income was too high. I was doing a backdoor Roth conversion. He's like, okay, so let me get you that deduction. I'm like, no, bro, I don't want the deduction. Because when you contribute to a traditional IRA, it'll lower your taxable income for this tax year. So if I make $100,000 per year, I contribute $5,000 to a traditional IRA. From the point of view of the IRS, I don't owe taxes on $100,000 anymore. I owe taxes on $95,000. That's the way that works. Same thing for the traditional 401k. So he was like, "You so you want the deduction?" I'm like, "No, I can I'm converting. I converted the traditional IRA to the Roth." So I don't know why that So that, that reminded me of your your nurse situation. <laughs> Do you remember your first Ace? I don't. Those headphones look legit. They are legit AF. I know they're big. They're kind of goofy looking. But you know what? We're all about that audio quality, baby. We don't really care how we look. Jay just came from TikTok. Thank you, Jay. Is investing in a GIC good for a shorter term investment? Maybe one year? For short term investments, you have a few options. You got the high yield savings, which are great right now. You have a you have treasury bills, also great and you have a certificate of deposit and you have a money market funds. 
So those are four options for you. They're all very closely related. So like a money market fund, they're essentially investing in treasury bills. So if you don't want to invest in T-bills directly, easy way to do it. You're swapping your PC case, noise. What about stocks like Verizon, Costco uh, for dividends and growth? Verizon and AT&T, the telecom companies, they're kind of in the same boat as that company I was just looking at. I mean, we can look at it right now. Um, Verizon stock, Verizon stock. Okay, so in the past five years, they're down 30%. Their dividend is 6.5%. Let's look at the history. Let me know if the music's too loud. Okay, so we got all the way back for to 1995. They were paying 70 cents. 30 cents, 30 cents, 30 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents, 45, 50, 53, 57, 60. Okay, so they've had decent dividend growth. The problem is their stock is just, just hammered the past five years. I'd have to do more research. I mean, even then, I don't touch individual stocks at all anymore. I do. I still have mostly individual stocks from back when I, you know, when that was my strategy. But nowadays, it's purely ETFs, man. Purely ETFs. If I were to choose a dividend investment, this is not financial advice whatsoever. Please do not blindly buy anything that I like. Uh, there's one. There's a. There is a, an ETF called SCHD. It's a Charles Schwab um, U.S. dividend ETF. I think they're paying about 4%. Because in my mind, cool, I get about a 3 maybe 4% dividend, but I'm also diversified. Um, how many companies do we got here? We got about... Holdings, holdings, about a hundred different companies. You know what I mean? Uh, Monsoon says, if, Monsoon says, if I have a 401k from my employer, am I able to transfer it to Roth once I quit my job? Okay, great, great question. Um, I wish I could... I want to pull up some kind of graphic at least. Can I get like some some Venn diagram? Mm. No, it's not what I want. Here we go. Here's something to, to look at at least. So, if you are contributing to a traditional 401k. That is a pre-tax account. So you are getting a tax deduction right off the bat and your money's gonna grow tax deferred. In retirement, the money you withdraw from that account each year will be taxed according to your income. All right. The Roth IRA is you're using after-tax dollars to contribute. This is not the graphic I want actually. This is, this is a, a more one-to-one -one relationship. Actually, we'll, we'll leave it here. So if you try to convert a 401k, traditional 401k, to a Roth IRA, you're going to go taxes. That is a taxable event right there. Right, because pre-tax 401k, Roth IRA is post-tax. No problem, Jay. <clears throat> Buy Tesla dump? We were talking about Tesla earlier. I, would, I, I personally um, wouldn't touch Tesla. Not directly, at least. If if there's an ETF, I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna check the ETF I, uh, I'm investing in. Are they? Do they have Tesla in their holdings? They probably do.
Well, they don't have it in the top 10 holdings. Anyways, yeah, that's that's too risky for me, you know? <clears throat> Invest in Floki? <laughs> Is that a crypto? Do you recommend trading? Definitely not. Definitely not. Um, what percentage of day traders make money. Studies have shown that more than 97% of, of day traders lose money over time and less than 1% of day traders are actually profitable. This is kind of a... This source is a little biased. Our, our good friends at Ramsey Solutions. Is there something a little... I, I remember reading some studies, various studies. But looks like this number is fairly consistent. About one to two percent of traders are actually profitable. I'll have to find a couple solid sources and bookmark them so I can pull them up. Yeah, don't trade, guys. I used to trade back in the day. I thought I was making money, but what was happening was my I was tricking my brain. Because I would sell, I would realize the gain, right? Because the way stocks work, you buy them, you hold them. You don't really like make, you don't really lock in the money when the stock goes up. Like it'll fluctuate, like your portfolio will fluctuate. Some people, they need that like, yes, I locked in the gains. I made the money. And that's what trading does to your brain. You'll, you'll lock in the gains and you'll feel like, yes, I made money. You're also going to pay the highest taxes possible on that money. Because if you don't hold your investments for at least a year, you're going to pay short-term capital gains tax on that. That's the highest possible tax you can pay on your investments. No bueno, no bueno. What else is going on? Jay says, so back to my original question from TikTok. Um, if you were 24 after maxing out Roth and 401k, how would you split the rest cash and brokerage? And what to invest in brokerage, ETF, S&P 500, dividend? Okay, so can we get a drawing board? Okay, so first thing you want to do is prioritize the retirement accounts. We're not gonna draw, we're gonna type this. Okay, here. so here's the order that I would do it in. This'll be good. Let's crank up this font size, yeah, baby. If I can just figure out how to. Okay, number one. You want to get all the free money you can get. How do you get that? We're talking 401k match. So I would do that first. Get all the free money you can get. And then you want to tackle high interest debt. Credit cards. And then... You want to, you can either, people go multiple ways from here, but people usually will go back to 401k, max out 401k, max out IRA, um, traditional, traditional or Roth. There is a, there's a rule here though. So you, you may not, we won't dive into this now, but there is a rule that says you may not be able to contribute to a traditional IRA if you're already contributing to a traditional 401k. There is a, um, some kind of phase out. I forget. We'll talk about that later if we want. And then there's also an HSA. If you qualify for one, you need a high deductible health care plan. Uh, okay, cool. And then if you have money left over, brokerage account. Um, I think I'm missing something here. 
Remember, this one has no tax advantages. Match credit cards, 401k, IRA, HSA, brokerage account. Um, we are missing emergency savings. So assuming you don't have any emergency savings, you can do a couple things. You could save, I don't know, people like to say a thousand bucks. Six months worth of living expenses in a high yield savings. I think this is, yeah. I am writing, I am writing a, an ebook on all this. I'll, like, I'll break this down um, very granular. Anyways, does that make sense? Free money, save some amount, 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks, just for like a, a tiny little um, bucket for emergencies, pay off that credit card debt. Now, the reason why you might be like, well, hold on, what, shouldn't I pay off the credit cards first before doing the 401k match? Well, here's the thing. What's the, what's the return on our investment here if we contribute to the 401k and get a match? If we contribute, I don't know, 100 bucks and our employer matches 100 bucks, what's that return? It's an instant return, right? It's an instant return on investment. Anyways. Um... Hope I answered your question, Jay. And then you also want to balance that. Where would I put this in the steps? So let's say you also have other goals, right? You're going to save for a house, maybe a, a car, something, right? You're, you're going to have to kind of set up some some buckets here. So where would we do that? Let's say you also want to save for a house while doing all of this. What I would do is determine when you want to hit that goal by. So let's say you want to buy a house in five years and you need a down payment of $100,000. So you just you do the math and how much of the money that you're contributing here Honestly, I would probably take it out of step eight. So let's say you do take care of all this, at least the IRA and 401k. And then after that, if you have extra money left over, you could funnel some of the money. Um, let's do, can I do, or split with saving for another goal. There we go, there we go, we got it. All right, cool. Make sense, hopefully. All right, cat's meow. What's up with all the people trying to promote IULs? Why do they make it sound so good to be true? It feels sus. Yeah. So here's the thing with IULs. They are insurance policies when it comes down to it. Um, and the people that are trying to offer this stuff, they sell life insurance. So they get a commission when they sell this stuff. So that's, that's the red flag right off the bat. Um, they're not held to the same standards as certified financial planners. On top of that, these policies are extremely confusing and complex. They're also riddled with fees and commissions. So most of your money is probably going to go to that. Um, there is one person on social media. I think his name is, I think it's Colin. Is it Colin Overweg? Let me find him. Um, Colin's awesome. Highly recommend you guys follow Colin. Super realistic, no bullshit. Colin Overweg. This guy. Make sure you follow this guy. Colin Overweg. Awesome dude. Awesome advisor. Good content. So Webzy is part of the 1%. 
Um, well, I would I would ask Websey for all of his trade information, how long he's been doing it. I secretly subbed on my brother's PC. Nice. <laughs> what would you invest in a brokerage? You can do the same thing you're investing in in your um, in your retirement accounts. If you want more exposure to something else, just, just make sure you do your research, understand the risk, understand your timeline. For me personally, I invest in another ETF that's a little more tech focused, um, but I've been working at tech for almost a decade, so I understand the industry and I'm comfortable with adding some of that into my portfolio. No problem, cats. I've been seeing them pop up um, and was interested, but I will ignore it for now. And you have to ask the question, why are they popping up? When it comes to social media, it's unfortunate, but the bad information travels extremely fast and goes viral. Because everybody wants to, to get rich quick and whatever else they're, uh, they're trying to offer. Oh man, TikTok. Sorry for ignoring it, y'all. Joan says, is Weeble a good brokerage to keep my IRA in? I mean, it's not the worst, but I've tried Weeble multiple times. I think the user interface is just not good. Shane says, is selling life insurance a pyramid scheme? Let's see, would that be considered a pyramid scheme? <laughs> Let's Google it. Is life insurance a pyramid scheme? <laughs> the first result on Reddit. How is life insurance not a Ponzi scheme? Wow, Shane, I haven't, I didn't even think about that. All right, let's read this. Should we read this? So this person says, math in my head. So assume there's three people, all non-smokers and $360,000 death benefits um, and mail to make it simple. Okay, okay. So Tom is 23 years old. The death benefit is $360,000. That means if Tom were to pass away, the, um, Tom's beneficiaries would receive $360,000. Um, looks like this is term life insurance. Yeah. They're paying $331 uh, per year for 20 years. John's 43 is paying 700. What is his name? Eust Eustace? Eustace. Eustace? Wait, isn't Eustace uh Courage the Cowardly Dog? Yes! You guys know Eustace from, from Courage? Oh man, great show, man. You guys watch Courage, Courage the Cowardly Dog? So good. This show was kind of freaky. As a kid, I kind of got freaked out a little bit, but I still watched it because I'm a, I was a weird kid. Okay, every single one of them, considering the premiums paid, we need to live about as long as Noah in the Bible <laughs> before the amount of premiums they paid throughout their lives would match the payout, which means it's impossible for the insurance companies to pay out through the premiums paid by the client alone. So they either are juicing the payout pool with new customer money to cover. There we go. So here is the, po the Ponzi pyramid. So they were either juicing the payout pool with new customer money to cover the payment for their existing customers. Everyone dies, life insurance is a guaranteed payout. Or they're juicing it by investing in something with crazy returns. The insurance companies will need to make well over 30% return uh -huh, on investment just to cover the payouts. Warren Buffett, over the course of his career, only eked out 22% annual return. Nice. This guy, this guy is, uh, has done his research. Insurance companies will need to make consistently better returns than Warren Buffett without a constant stream of new customers to juice their payout account, which means the entire life insurance business is one that heavily relies on new customers paying into a pool that'll be used to pay out older customers who are guaranteed to be paid, which is just classic Ponzi right there, right? <laughs> so not everyone dies, yeah. The living subsidize the dead, yeah. Yeah, so the, the, the original poster is essentially creating a scenario where it would have to be a Ponzi scheme. But the fact that not everyone's going to die who has life insurance, and they're always getting new customers on top of that. Anyways, interesting. Very interesting. 
It's more like a Ponzi scheme, yeah. Great show, yeah. Courage, awesome show. Kind of creepy when you, when you watch it as a kid. Um, Courage was creepy. Ren and Stimpy, what the hell was Ren and Stimpy? Uh, what else was what? Ah, uh, Real Monsters. Dude, so many creepy shows. Y'all remember this one? This one was messed up. But I watched it. <laughs> Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy was wild. Holy crap. Damn. Good times. Good times. Now the shows are kind of... are lame. Let's see. Nickelodeon. Cartoons. Uh, 2023. Okay, Kid Show. Peppa Pig. I don't know any of these. I know Peppa Pig. Rugrats is not, is that still, that's not still going, is it? Do they have another version of it? Oh, Rugrats was great too. Oh man, we're getting, we're getting a fat nostalgia hit right now. It'd be so sick if I paid my entire life for life insurance and they didn't pay it out after I died. That would suck. Yeah. Do you remember any creepy parts in Tom and Jerry? Tom and Jerry? Not really. Maybe some racist stuff, but... <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Bosco says, how much should I save up uh, at 14 with no job? At 14, I don't expect you to have any money. At all. All right. Anyways, oh, it's already, it's almost 10 o'clock. Yeah, we're not, we're not gonna be playing anymore. E-Money says, what do you do for a living? Full-time content creator. Be sure to check out my main channel. Hopefully, nice, there it is. I do have a uh, another channel. That one pays the bills, this one doesn't pay the bills. Is Autopilot a good app? I was skeptical about it. Autopilot? When you say Autopilot, I'm thinking of a Tesla. I have a Tesla and has Autopilot. Is it not that? Talking about something else? Autopilot app. Oh, it's an investment app. Okay. I've never heard of it. An app that lets you automate your portfolio by copying top-notch traders in real time. I don't like that. We, we don't want to copy trading. We just want to invest long-term. Find hold long-term. What stock should I invest in? All of them. Invest in all the stocks. Low cost index funds. We'll do exactly that for you. Have about 500 saved up and own a car right now looking to sell. I fix up cars with my dad. Oh, nice. Okay. It's usually copying politicians that they believe are insider trading, I think. Interesting. So copying Pelosi and them. Pelosi and friends. Yeah, Bosco, talk to your parents. See if they can open up an investment account for you. Because if you start at 14, man, man, that's going to make a huge difference in your life. You will thank me and your parents when you get older. So maybe a custodial Roth IRA or a UTMA. So. We don't need headphones. I also have to pay for a permit because I'm nine days too young to do the driving school. Okay. I mean, you'll you'll, uh, you'll get past that.
Anyways, what time is it? I'm about to hop off in just a minute here. We started learning about file input and output this week. And I was thinking about my friend who works at a hotel. Part of his job um, is taking info from an Excel sheet and adding it to their master sheet from what I can tell from his description. File input output, huh? Nice. Yeah, the way it works is um, you have a file, it's saved to disk, you load it into memory, you can access the contents, you can manipulate it, write it out to another file on disk. Python's great for that. Python is awesome for, uh, um, for automation. I love it. Yeah, Bosco, it's the, let me just, let me type it out for you, for you. Okay, so there's really two main accounts when it comes to um, investing for uh, for miners. Custodial Roth IRA. In order to contribute to that, you need to have taxable income. So you yourself need to make money or else you cannot contribute. UTMA, it's a little more general. There are no tax benefits like the Roth IRA, but people can gift you money and you can use it to invest. Anyways, you're, I'm sure your parents can help you uh, help you understand it a little better. But definitely do that. Definitely, definitely do that. If you can save 20% of your income, honestly, if you can do 50% of your income, that's what I would do. Save half of it because you're going to be living at home. We don't have a whole lot of expenses. And then blow the other half on whatever you'd like. Monsoon says, I'm trying to get into content creation, but I feel like I have no time right now for it. I work 30 hours and I'm a full-time student. Do you have any tips for that? It's really just time management at that point. I don't know if I would do more than what you're doing now. When do you graduate? It'll be easier once you graduate, you get a job. And then, you know, before you go to work, you can do some stuff, ideally. That way your brain is fresh. What do you think about BDR? BDR. Can you expand that acronym for me? Bosco, you can do 80 to 90%. I don't really buy anything. Oh, dude. If you do that, your future self will love you because you are guaranteed to retire much earlier than the average person. If you start at, uh, you said you were 14 or something? Man, if only I could go back in time. What does a day, what does a day in the life look like for you? Um, let's see. Mondays, I do a lot of like admin stuff, like emails. Um, I'll usually start scripting also. So writing scripts for videos for both channels. Um, what else? Tuesday, I'll usually continue doing that. I'll try and film on Wednesdays. Try and edit on Thursday, Fridays. That's roughly what my schedule looks like. Uh, mornings I take quite slow. I don't really do a whole lot of work in the mornings. Afternoons is when I'm most active. We, My wife and I do work out three days a week. Tuesday, Friday, Sunday. But yeah, my day isn't very exciting. I'm definitely trying to, I'm 34. I'm definitely trying to slow down and just enjoy my life a lot more instead of grinding as I'm streaming until 10 p.m. It's okay, we've only been on here for like two hours, so it's okay. You're a freshman currently, second semester, gotcha. Okay. Well, if you really still wanna do it, start small, start very small. Um, also, is that is that Griffith in your uh, profile picture? 
and tell. What's up, Aaron? I also should have enough to still love my young ages because I have about 200 in cash right now. Cool. Yeah, man, like, like make sure you enjoy yourself. You're, you're, you're just a kid, you know, you don't need to save every penny, spend money, have fun. Well, good, just don't miss out on things because you want to save. Yes, thousand percent. Yep, but that's a good mindset reminds me of myself. <laughs> I agree. Let's listen to what Patrick's saying. <laughs> Saving money is good. Investing money is good. But um, um, the whole point of having money is to use it as a tool to do the stuff that you want, you know? Eventually, the ultimate goal is to, at least for a lot of people, is to own their time and have work be optional. That's kind of the point where I'm at. I'm kind of semi-retired, so I, I've invested so much that I don't need to invest in another penny, and my retirement's just taken care of. So I just just need to make enough money to pay for my expenses and plus some stuff on top of that. And that's I don't I don't, I don't need a lot for that either. I need like yeah, not not very much. Oh, it is him. Nice. You're doing TikTok stuff. Got 18k followers, but it was just memes and shit posting. Not enough to make an actual following. I can transfer to TikTok or or YouTube. Nice. Dang, Berserk is one of my favorite animes, man. I love Berserk. It messed me up. <laughs> the ending messed me up. I think it messed everyone up, but holy crap. And there's so much lore in that damn, that damn universe. Yeah, if you want to make money on content creation, Shit posting probably isn't the way. Gaming also isn't usually the way. Gaming and, yeah, gaming. The fun stuff doesn't really make the most money, I should say. Jake says, semi retired and you look like you're 29. Holy cow. Oh, that's a nice compliment. About to be 35 this year. Soda Poppin says, thoughts on sports betting slash gambling? If you want to do it for fun sometimes, go for it, but please do not make it a habit. Mr. O, I spent, uh, Mr. O says, I spent like $100 a year before I moved out. Now I can't keep money in my wallet. Once you have actual responsibilities, it gets so much easier to justify the small, irresponsible purchases. Yeah, and once you have an income too, once you have an income, then it's like, oh man, I can just buy all the stuff that I want, right? As soon as I got my debit card, I was like, holy crap, I can buy stuff on the internet? Let's go. All right, boss, have a good night, man. Twitch or YouTube, yeah. Honestly, YouTube's the game. YouTube's gonna be my main focus. Cause dude, TikTok, um, YouTube has everything. It's got short form, it's got long form, it's got live streaming, horizontal live streaming, and now they're doing vertical live streaming. So if they if they really nail the dis the discoverability aspect that TikTok has, GG TikTok. There's literally no reason to use TikTok if they do that. Twitch. I mean, I know Twitch is still the most popular platform for streaming, but yeah, the more I like, I think about Twitch, I'm like, how are they going to compete with YouTube? You know what I mean? I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, I think you missed my question. I'm going to type it again. How does dividend uh, get taxed on a Roth that doesn't get taxed? It's kind of nice, right? Anything you make, any profits you make in the Roth IRA. Tax deferred and tax free withdrawals. One Da says, I owe I owe for taxes this year. Kind of bummed about it. That's a good thing. Usually it's a good thing. That means you the government didn't take more money out of your paychecks. You know what I mean? 
Because if you think about it, and this is assuming a very simple tax situation, you just have a job and that's it. Every paycheck, they take money out for taxes, right? Federal, Medicare, Social Security, and depending on the state you're in, state tax. If they take out too much, you'll get a tax refund during tax time. If you pay too little, you'll owe them some money. So I would rather owe them some money. Or I, would, I mean, I, ideally, I'd rather, I'd, I want to break even as close to zero as possible. Because if they give you thousands of dollars back, I mean, some people like to think of that as an interest-free loan that you gave the government. Can you say that again about Roth tax advantage? Yeah, so um, Night LA here on YouTube says, how do dividends get taxed in a Roth IRA? Yeah, so the Roth IRA, you get paid, you pay taxes on that money, and then you go and invest that money. Any profits you make in that Roth IRA are 100% tax-free as long as you withdraw the profits in retirement. Yes, the money you put in, you can take out whenever you want. So even if you make dividends, you don't pay taxes on them. Now, the traditional IRA. Actually, I'm not sure about traditional IRAs. I, I would think they're not taxed as well. Dividends earned within the traditional IRA are not taxed when they are paid or reinvested. Rather, as a part of an IRA's earnings, they're taxed at one's current income rate when they're withdrawn. Okay. Earnings on investments within Roth IRA, including dividends, growth on tax-free basis, are not subject to taxation when withdrawn. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Power of the IRA, right? It is by far my favorite account. It really is. I love it. I love it so much. It's so simple. You know what's funny is some people get um, on my on my other channel, I'll post videos about this stuff, and people get kind of mad. They're just like, oh, you should pay your fair share in taxes. I'm just like, you know the IRS literally wrote it in the IRS tax code that here, citizens, this is here are some tax benefits you can take you can take advantage of. That way we the government don't have to pay for your retirement. <laughs> so stupid. Some people are funny. Um, oh, I missed Monsoon's question, uh, comment here. I had a TikTok get 5 million views and I only got paid $60. I was like so demotivated after that. Dang. Were you part of the, are you part of the current, uh, creator fund thing? Where the videos has to be a minute longer or a minute or longer? The payout's pretty decent. Um, best picks for Roth IRA stick to index funds. Yeah. Index funds or target date funds are awesome. Um, Trevor says all distributions from IRAs trigger a 1099-Rs. Um, no IRAs trigger 1099 divs, I believe. Okay, makes sense. Distributions make okay, yeah, that makes sense. I I contributed to a Roth IRA on Vanguard before I found out about uh, SoFi's two percent match, so I had to withdraw that. It's fine, but you do get a tax form and you got to prove that you didn't take uh, profits. You just, you withdrew your contributions. So I have a little note for next year. Oh, it was before it was a thing. Okay. I just remember buying the Oni 2.0 bundle with the money I got from TikTok. Nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Um, him, David said, is it just me or Instagram not working? Let's find out. I can't do it on my phone because I I have a timer for my social media. So if I go on there for too long, it pauses the app. Instagram. Hopefully I don't have any uh, information here. It looks like it's working. This is my main channel, by the way. If you guys can 
follow me on everything for here. I'd appreciate that. You guys can see my DMs. Anyways. My NVIDIA, my NVIDIA is up over 800% uh, in your Roth. Dang. Take profits. <laughs> Take profits. Um, does YouTube Shorts pay better than TikTok? Um, I feel like TikTok pays more. Yeah, I think, I think TikTok pays a little more. For the longest time, I didn't have my... My bank account wasn't being verified for some reason. So I had about 600 bucks in Google AdSense just sitting there for probably three, four months. I just got that verified, so... Do you want to get taxed on that? You can, if it's in your uh, Roth IRA, you can buy and sell as many times as you want. Not that, not that you should, but you can buy and sell. You can do anything that account pretty much. You can get dividends, buy and sell, take profits. It's you just you just can't withdraw profits. Shane on TikTok says, "Do investments in same index funds in both uh, Roth and?" Do I invest in the same index funds in both Roth and brokerage account? Mm, I do. Yeah, I have a um, I have a traditional IRA, Roth IRA, uh, and a brokerage account, and I invest in pretty much the same one in all of them. In my brokerage account, I have more than just the index ETF I invest in, but, but yeah, you can do the same in all. You can do target date funds if you don't want to have to at a later point invest in some bonds um lj white thank you have a great night <laughs> rice says f taxes moon says who is this guy and why should you all follow him or else <laughs> heading over to youtube right now noise 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 oh we gotta oh we, we're uh we're 15 minutes over dang uh, I gotta eat dinner. I gotta take out the trash. What else we got? My emails are good. I gotta respond to one email. I've been trying to crank out this YouTube script, guys, this this uh, past week. Man, I just couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. So as long as I don't withdraw to my bank, I don't get taxed. Yeah, don't do any kind of withdrawals from your Roth IRA. And you don't get taxed. Correct. And feel free to search online so you feel confident as well. Not that I'm ever wrong. <laughs> difference between traditional IRA and Roth IRA, just different tax advantages? Yeah, the main difference is going to be the traditional is pre-tax, Roth is after-tax. So when do you want to pay taxes? Do you want to pay taxes now? Roth IRA. Do you want to pay taxes in retirement? Traditional IRA. Traditional 401k. I got to work tomorrow. Going to sleep too, but good night. Hope you have a great week. Thanks, Ryan. You too. Have a good night. Uh, and on that note, yeah, I'm going to hop off too, y'all. Good chat. We'll do this again on Tuesday. And I'll do my best to try and reach out to more streamers, man. I'm trying to get some more uh, streamers to do some live coaching sessions with. But, man, it's hard to convince streamers to talk about their finances. So, we'll keep trying. Alrighty, y'all. Have a good night. Certified black men liker. <laughs> Rye, Moon, Shane, One Daz. Have a good night, y'all. Talk to you later.